On to our next issue of discussion, where according to the Canadian-American actor and producer, Ryan Reynolds, any kind of crisis can be good. It wakes you up, apparently, concerned by the chaos that has rocked the Labour Party. Some stakeholders have decided to come up with solutions. This time, the Political Commission of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and some party chieftains are calling for a fresh national convention. Meanwhile, the outcome of the national convention held in Newi and Amri State has caused more fireworks between the party and NLC. The outcome of the convention has been discarded. Even the leadership that emerged from the exercise has been disregarded. And this, this coming days, this coming days rather, will be interesting. Our correspondent, Jakedisa, has found the story. The Nigerian Workers-Based Political Party is still in crisis and concerned members are in search of a sustainable solution. Days after it picketed the headquarters of the Labour Party in Abuja, where it declared the party's national chairman, Julius Aburi, personal non grata, the political commission of the Nigeria Labour Congress brings together leading actors and the party in its quest for a solution. NLC insists the party is an ideological movement with the primary purpose of conscientizing Nigerians on the need to foster good governance and acceptable political leadership. It announces a committee that will midwife a new national convention to produce a replacement for Julius Aburi. Expect that this meeting should set up a transition committee for the purpose of conducting an all-inclusive an expansive national convention of the Labour Party, from what Congress is all through to the national convention. For the party's national leader and presidential candidate in the 2023 elections, Peter will be an amicable resolution of all crises is critical to achieving set goals. One of the particular committees should look very seriously in reconciling all legal issues and eliminating them. Leading actors here describe the crisis rocking the party as unfortunate and inconsistent with the ideals of its founding fathers. All the major stakeholders here have now agreed to come together to form a union that will rescue our party, reposition our party so that we will become a force to be reckoned with. Human beings are, you know, synonymous to crisis. And it is also human beings that can make sure that crises are abated. We have said enough is enough. We cannot continue to have a Labour Party where leaders will be transactional. The political commission of the Nigeria Labour Congress hopes to begin mass mobilization of Nigerian workers and other citizens into the Labour Party for the needed numerical strength to gain power in the next political dispensation. Observers say how soon this is achieved remains a matter of conjecture. Joke Edsa, TVC News, Abuja. BKO, interesting days to come in the NLC and the Labour Party, don't you think? What some of us have talked about are coming to pass now. Mm. I predicted on um, issues we did it two weeks ago that Peter will be will end up teaming up with the NLC on this matter. That is what we have seen. The person who represented him mm. was the same person who complained that what Peter will be suggested an all-inclusive congresses leading all the way to the convention. Abure did not agree to do it. And Peter Obi came out to say, look, if, you, if we try to change the party and they will not agree, we'll leave the party for them. Now, he has said he's not leaving the party. What they are seeking to do is to take control of the party. I said it repeatedly that the obedience, they are the largest group within the Labour Party. They see no reason why they should not take control of it. They have 
the most dominant individual in the party. That is Peter Obi. That is the symbol of the obedient movement. They have him. They have many supporters. As far as they are concerned, it's an affront for Abure to be holding on to the leadership of the party when they have turned against him. It's like the rule of the minority over the majority. Right. I said at that time that what Ajero wants to do, that Peter will be aligned with him in the fullness of time. We are seeing that now. We are seeing that. This meeting, the people who call this meeting are largely the obedient family as well as the political wing of the NLC. They call it NLC Political Commission. I prefer to call it the political wing of the Northern Labour Congress. Because it's not every uh, member of the NLC that is interested in politics. Some are not interested. Even some of the unions that are part of the NLC or even the TUC, are not interested in the political side of things. They are just interested in the welfare of workers. of workers. So the political wing, which they are calling NSC Political Commission, is working with obedience to try and take control of the party from yeah. Abure. Oh. They are fed up with Abure, and it looks like only the law courts can keep him in office. Now they declare that uh, 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 Bure's, uh, the convention is illegal to an extent with the INEC not supervising the, I mean, not witnessing the convention. I think the word supervise is wrong. Not witnessing the election, which is one of the conditions precedent for the convention of a political party to be seen as valid mm. is for the INEC to be physically present. Right. They were not there. The reason they were not there, we do not know. Did they not get enough um, notice about the change in venue and time? <laughs> Perhaps they didn't officially communicate. You know, they, they had to change three times. Yeah. Perhaps they didn't officially communicate when the to, final change was made. Yes. Perhaps they didn't officially do that. Ideally, the big parties, what they do is they nominate somebody who will be interfacing with INEC on the matter of their convention. Mm -hmm. They need to change. That person will hear quickly so that there won't be any excuse. Because not supervising that convention, not, why do I keep using the word? Witnessing. Because, not witnessing that convention, convention is fatal. In my view, it's legally fatal. Except the Labour Party can prove that it held. It notified them. Okay. And they have evidence. Maybe like when uh, a courier person brings something to, uh, to you, uh, you sign, he takes his own copy, you keep one. Mm. If they can prove that INEC had no reason to not attend, then they can get away with that convention. But if they cannot prove it, they will do another convention. And perhaps a new convention would then be what the political wing of the Nigerian Labour Congress and the, the obedient movement had wanted. You start from the world level, you have congresses leading up to the convention, which is the biggest decision making organ of the party. Mm. The convention can can impeach Abure, but you cannot send them packing with the methods that they are using, picketing uh, Labour uh, Labor Party's office mm -hmm. and all that. No, if you continue to do that, in fact, they boasted that they will use the force of law to ensure that uh, you cannot kick him out of office. They've already promised them that. And the law states clearly how you can remove a sitting national chairman of a party. Right. So they have to follow due the, the due process. But it's clear that they do not 
even recognize this meeting. Because um, let me quote what uh, they said. The political commission of the NSC is a front for Comrade Joe Ajero, which he has empowered for the purpose of his political ambition come 2027. The group is unknown to the Labour Party and lacks the power to call a meeting of stakeholders to deliberate, let alone take any decision which will have a binding effect on the legally constituted party leadership. In fact, they call them uh, fire, drama boys. They call those at the meeting. <laughs> and uh, they went on to say, Ajero should focus on the welfare of Nigerian workers or quit as NSC president and become a politician. So it's a long drawn, I see a long drawn battle on our hands. And I know that uh, the courts will get involved at, uh, at some stage. But Abure is, uh, is sitting on a keg of gunpowder. <laughs> CKN, with this situation going on between the Labour Party and the NLC, what is the solution inside? Well, the solution will also come um, internally. It's within. For me, Abure is just clinging to a straw, as far as I'm concerned. He has lost ground, as it were. He's standing on a sinking sand. And when he does, it's only... It's, it's, it's only uh, a self-centered individual or politician or whatever that cannot read the beat and the beating. He, what makes you a leader is not your ability or willingness to show you are all this, you are all that. Mm. I remember really what happened during the time of Adam Oshomole when he was the chairman of APC. He got to a point that even Adam Oshomole knew himself that he, not, he doesn't have the support of the party. But he kept on holding on, kept up holding on. And he started from the world. You remember what happened, <laughs> where he started from? His problem started from this. Those that initiated this, he started from his own. And that's how what happens. He started from his world, and where they now expelled him, this and that, then he snowballed. He thought it was a joke. He now snowballed into what, and before he knew it, he was out of the place. If the powers that be within the party say that they no longer want you, there's practically nothing you can do. It's just uh, unfortunate that uh, Labour Party just have one governorship, um, one governor. Mm. If for other political parties like PDP or APC, the governors will sit and decide that Aburi today you will leave and you will leave. There is nothing you have to do about it. Most of when they have the backing of, if it's a, a, a party in power, mm -hmm. they have the backing of the president, mm -hmm. then you are gone. So the uh, on issue of uh, me has been calling them all sorts of names, and but you come to realize that I've said it time with a number. Nobility is ability to be able to read the hand uh, and right hand hand on the wall. wall and just honorably take it. What will he lose? This is a man that has made so much money. BK, you know, this man. I've not seen his bank account. You don't even <laughs> 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 if you follow this, that's what if you follow what the was it, was it the treasurer that lady in God say whatever yeah. they come. What she said, uh, most of the things that she has said have not been denied by Bolly. Just say, I'll take you to court and the rest of them. Now, the fact remains that even within the, the party, the account of that party has not been audited to a large extent. In fact, before you have a convention, the audit, there must be an audit of that. The audited, um, um, the, um, um, the audit of that has even to be sent to INEC because INEC keeps that record. INEC didn't attend. He moved it around, moved around, and finally went to, and he was strategic in his, he, 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 he took it to Peter B. State all the, of Adam. All the big people didn't attend. Look at, even this one, the, the, this particular one that we just watched. Now you see all the big people uh, and in, they in there. there. They are there. The only person I didn't see there is Peter B. and the governor of um, uh, Adia State. State. But every other person that matters, in his own, you see those hanging at the back, no single person that I know, not. And you ask yourself, what political weight does Abure have as an individual? Hmm. So, Okay. But it is quite unfortunate for me because this is a party, this is the time we need a very strong opposition. Right. Very, very strong opposition. Right. Either the PDP, a lot of people have lost faith with PDP. So the alternative for so many people now, especially the younger one, is the Labour, Labour party. party. And they started it with the last election. Look at the vote that um, P2B got at the last election. Nobody ever removed P2B from, P2B from, um, from Labour Party. 
It's just the carcass. In as much as they want to say whatever they want. And what they did now to give him, you, you know, they now say, we are giving you the presidential, uh, mm. uh, what's it, the presidential ticket for 2027. 20, mm. When you, Abu doesn't even know whether you live to see 20. It's true now. <laughs> Let me give you a classic example. Today, an Oba in Lagos mm. attended an, a prayer. Mm. And after leaving that prayer, he died. The uh, 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 of his solo. Right. He died this afternoon. Right. So nobody can predict what will happen tomorrow. Absolutely. So I don't know why our people continue holding on to power, 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 power at the end of it. But if it's to the benefit of the people and right. the people they serve, then you give, politics is about giving and taking. Absolutely. You don't just stand and say, no, you see, I'm this and that. But let's wait and see how this pans out. Well, but the fact we have to establish is that mm. it's the NLC that registered um, Labour Party. Right, that's where we have to leave this discussion and quickly go on. A very quick break. You're still on to journalists. Thank God we have more discussions coming 